Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Bendy in the Dark Revival video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing y'all something that you can do near the end of the game before you fight the final boss. As you can see here, you'll encounter this NPC named Betty right before you go down into Wilson's laboratory. Here's what she'll say when you get near her. There you are, thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? So yeah, she'll need our assistance with something. Let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she wants help with. Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen, and I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, so yeah, that's what she says, and to find the train to go over to the farmer's market quickly to get her the ingredients that she's wanting, all you gotta do is just head down this way, past the fountain. The subway is located right down here. Technically, we can just skip right past this and go down to the final boss fight. We don't even have to talk to her. But yeah, for this video, I thought I'd show y'all how to help her out and what you get for helping her. So you can decide on whether or not it's worth your time to do this or not. Technically, you can just run right past this part and get on with the campaign. And we just wait for a train that'll show up here. It may take a little bit. That's a uh, creepy train destination board. Death Lake derailed. A lot of derailed going on here. Okay, here comes the train. Alrighty, so we just head on in. Wait. Back spike. And now we just wait. Gotta say, this makes for a neat little loading screen. Just waiting in the train to get to the next place. But yeah, um, this will lead up to uh, the city area where the farmer's market is located at. You just have to keep following the street exit signs. You will encounter a few enemies right here, depending on what difficulty you're playing on. This could be a hassle. Oh, wow! <laughs> that got me. The ghost popped up out of nowhere. The new fourth member to the Butcher Gang. Okay. Anyways, here's the ingredients right here that Betty's wanting. Now, all we have to do is just head back to her. Let's wait for the train again. Weird, I thought I saw the lights coming from that way. Oh well. Please be clear of the doors. We just head back up to Betty now. You're a miracle worker. Oh, truly. Oh, I only wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, wait. I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. So yeah, as you heard, she said she found something in the fountain. And if you head over to the fountain now, after helping her, you will find this that you can inspect. And yeah, this is what you get for helping her out. memory. If we go to this category in the menu and go down to cracked mug, here's what it states about it. A cracked mug, lovingly repurposed into a plaything. It may be sad, but it still has life in it yet. 
Now I'm not exactly sure what this is a memory from, um, but yeah, this is something that you get. Keep in mind you can completely skip helping her. If you don't want to, you can just run right past her and go down into Wilson's laboratory. It doesn't change anything. I'll go ahead and show you all real quick of what happens when I go down to Wilson after helping her. Nothing changes. None of his dialogue changes up within this cutscene. So yeah, that's what he says after helping her, um, and then you just go in here, and the cutscene starts. And then after this cutscene, you know, you'll fight the final boss. But yeah, I'll go ahead and show you real quick, you don't even have to technically help Betty if you don't want to. That is a completely optional thing you can do in the game. Anyways, as you can see, I'm back to Betty again, and when I approach her, she'll say her little dialogue, and we'll have the choice to speak to her. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you all real quick that you can just skip past that. You don't even have to technically help her if you don't want to. Doesn't change anything. Besides, you'll miss out on getting... Besides, you'll miss out on getting that cup. So if you're a collector, you're definitely going to want to help Betty out. So yeah, as you heard, same dialogue, nothing changed. Even though Betty did say Wilson has been waiting ages for us after, you know, helping her out. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. But still, it doesn't change up anything. Yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this enjoyable. And if you did, please consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.